Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. For those of you guys that have been with us for quite a while, you already know how we do. So let's get into the reading. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of April 2021. How are you doing, Leo? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I hope you guys are not experiencing heaviness of energy. If you are, be patient with yourself. Uh, you're one of the signs that definitely felt this full moon. It could have you a little bit sentimental or in your feelings. And it's okay. Just acknowledge that. Do not suppress whatever may come up. In regards to the past, it is only necessary so that we can further heal. Uh, so be patient with yourself, like I said. Okay, let's get into your reading. What are the messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of April 2021? Okay, one more shuffle and we're going to get into this. Alrighty, let's get into it. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. Now, the first card here is, whoa, okay. So, in regards to communication, we have the Tower card here. The Tower card is definitely something that is, you may be getting some type of information in the month of April that is definitely going to shake you. It's going to come as a surprise, even if you're being forewarned now. Uh, it is something that you were definitely not expecting. Uh, I feel that this is news not directly connected with you, but those around you, this could be family members, this could be um, people in your surroundings or your social gathering, uh, friends, uh, relatives. Um, the tower is definitely, I, and like I said in the beginning of the reading, Leos are one of the signs that are going to be hev uh, heavily influenced uh, this full moon that we just recently experienced. Uh, there's going to be a lot of transformative energy. Uh, Pluto is definitely going to take care of that as well for the month of April. So again, this could be news um, that is definitely going to shake you. It's definitely uh, going to change your perspective uh, in regards to where you're at at this present time. Now, in regards to the element of Earth, which is to do with finances and career, you have the chariot card here. So the chariot card does represent success. It also speaks about unexpected success because we have the tower right next to it. So I feel that for some of you guys, um, you're definitely going to be highlighted in the month of April. There's going to be a situation in your workplace or the business that you do, how you make your money. Uh, there's definitely going to be unexpected changes that are going to start to happen uh, that is going to put you center stage. Now, with a tower, this could be very scary. I feel that for some of you guys, I'm hearing like taking on more responsibilities. Uh, it's it's kind of intimidating is what I'm sensing. Um, but what they're telling you, Leo, is you've been waiting for this break. Although, yes, the tower is, like I said, very unexpected, very sudden. Um, the positive in this with the t with the chariot, uh, it's it's unexpected change that is going to change the course of your career and your finances and it's to the positive so again i feel that for a lot of you guys you've kind of earned this for some of you guys it's something that perhaps you've been wanting to manifest or you've been wanting to make happen um and things just not have they have not aligned um the way they're going to be aligning for you in the month of april uh so again I, I feel this is very rushed and quick, sudden energy. So if you experience this in the month of April, I urge you, do not doubt yourself and be confident about your capabilities, Leo. Um, don't let the fear hold you back or even make you feel like you can't make a decision or react to the situation uh, because you it's, it's, it's something sudden. Uh, I see you very much in your head or even doubting if you're able to do this. And what Spirit is telling you is this is the green light for you. This is for you to grab the bull by the horns and make it happen. So uh, even if it comes, and I know this is going to sound horrible, but they're telling me even if it comes at the expense of someone's career or position being jeopardized in this situation, um, 
that is not your doing that has nothing to do with you um it could be based off of you know triggers or things that they've done in the past that may come to light uh so again i, I what they're saying here is do not hesitate about taking this opportunity even if you feel that the opportunity is coming to you at the expense or the result of someone else um losing some type of status um the best way i can describe it is they're telling me this person that may be affected um had this coming to them so that's all i'm going to say about that now in regards to your challenge exactly what i was sensing with the chariot here the challenge here is the eight of wands and the eight of wands is very quick movement quick communication but this can also represent the blockage and the blockage with the Eight of Wands, it's talking about not reacting fast enough or feeling uh, like you don't want to react too quickly, like you don't want to take this opportunity, like you don't want to um, react. It's like there's a need, there's a moment where there's a need for you to get some type of clarity or uh, to figure out what it is that you want to do. And what they're telling you here is get out of your own way, Leo. For the month of April, it's going to be very important um to react to take this opportunity to not let this opportunity pass you by um now in regards to emotions uh you have the knight of wands so the knight of wands could represent um someone coming towards you or someone rushing in communicating i feel that for some of you guys this could be a person that you may be dealing with already um where perhaps there was a bit of inconsistency or perhaps there wasn't much stability uh if you are married and or in a committed relationship it could be that uh something happens in the month of april that is going to uh shake anything that is connected to their finances or to their career it may not be positive however i see you starting to flourish or start to uh really set the tone for the path and the manifestation that you're wanting to make happen so it, it's almost a feeling of when things start to go good for you in your career and your profession your partner or the person that you're dealing with may be dealing with some um some issues in regards to their career or in regards to their finances uh so it's almost a feeling of like you're kind of feeling bad but what they're telling you here is do not feel bad for your success you've earned it you've busted your ass uh, if an opportunity comes to you to take on more responsibility but with greater pay take that opportunity leo do not hesitate do not doubt now for those of you guys that are single i do see a person coming towards you in the month of april i feel that you may meet them while traveling and i feel that this connection is going to be very very strong uh, things may move rather quickly. Uh, and like I said, they're telling me this person may come to you while you're traveling. Um, this could be vacation or this could be just, uh, you know, traveling away from where your usual, your usual city is at. Um, and what they're saying here is I do see this person making the chase after. So what I mean by that is if you happen to meet this person uh, while traveling, and there's almost the feeling like it's the moment and, you know, I'm just going to enjoy it. Uh, that's not going to be the end of it. I do see them wanting to reach out or wanting to come visit you um, to a place that they're not from. So I feel that this connection is going to happen rather unexpected. Uh, and it's definitely when you're not searching for love, Leo, that love starts to come through for you guys. Uh, very strong, positive energy here. Now, in regards to Spirit's message here, we have the Devil card. So the devil card is that of toxic, uh, dealing with toxic energy. Uh, this can also represent understanding. Here's the thing. What they're telling me here is do not suppress your needs and wants, Leo. And when I say that, I don't mean it in the most general way. Uh, I feel that for a lot of you guys, this could be in connection to your sexuality uh, this could be that you are either becoming more open-minded or curious about certain things of your sexuality. Um, and what they're telling you here is do not suppress 
your sexual needs and desires. Even if you're in a relationship and there is a fantasy that you're wanting to make happen or that you're curious about, what they're telling you here is don't suppress that because this is spirit's direct message. And the devil is that of uh, attachment. It is that of um, being toxic to the detriment of our self-growth. Uh, and, and I see it very strongly here with the chariot and the tower. Um, your sexual, either your sexual experience or your sexual needs and desires. Um, what they're saying here is the more you suppress it, the more uh, it becomes stronger. Uh, the stronger it becomes, then it becomes like it almost takes hold of you. You don't want to be, as an example, um, keeping yourself from having sex, as an example. And you find yourself with friends on a wild night drinking uh, because you're going to rush into misconnections that you were not really interested in. But it was the moment, the desire, the lust. Uh, so again, what they're saying here with the Eight of Wands and the Devil card, do not suppress this. Now, for those of you guys that have this connection with this individual that's coming through for you guys in the month of April, it could potentially start off as, like, like I said, very hot and heavy. I feel that for a lot of you guys, you may be in your head about it sometime in the end of April where you're questioning if it's just like a sexual thing. Um, however, I don't see it just turning into a sexual thing. I actually see it progressing into something else. Um, but do not allow yourself, like, don't put limits to, don't put limits to yourself. I feel that there is a need to, to tell you, Leo, do not suppress your desires or your needs because the more you do, it will get to a point where, it's going to come out sooner or later and we don't want to get into pervertedness and stuff like that. Um, so again, it's about taking hold. It's about being in perfect balance um, in regards to sexuality. My personal opinion on that is there is, you know, literally no. What's the word I'm looking for? Don't knock it if you haven't tried it <laughs> type of mentality. And the reason I say that is because, again, like I said, the more you suppress it, there is um, there is a need to you will get to a point where you're extremely tempted. For some of you guys, this could be even those of you guys that are in a long term committed relationship. If love, not love, sorry, if sexual connection is missing, this is something that Leo's uh, greatly need. Uh, you're a very passionate and intense sign um, and temptation will be around. Um, so I feel that there is a need to communicate. There is a need with the eight of wands uh, to be straightforward. Um, sometimes we hold back and not really communicate with our partners because we're not trying to hurt their feelings. But the truth of the matter is when it's talking about, you know, someone is not getting what they want, uh, it's inevitable that there's going to be some type of situation where temptation will take place uh, and can potentially, uh, you know, I don't want to say destroy, but um, potentially create more problems within the relationship that when it first started, only because you guys were not being honest with each other, okay? And your spirit's message here is fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. So... There is definitely a blockage. Um, there is a blockage here that's happening with you guys. And again, I keep hearing suppressed. I don't know what it is that you're suppressing, Leo. For some of you guys, it could be sexual needs and desires. For those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, someone's not stepping up. And there is almost like a something that's going to be unfolding in the month of April where temptation will be very prominent. And I feel that it has more to do with you, Leo. So again, um, just be honest. Be straightforward. If you feel like, uh, you know, the passion has weathered in the relationship, do what you have to do to try to reignite it. Now, if it's the partner, the one that's really not putting effort, then maybe it's time you start wondering or questioning, is it even worth attaining? Because we have the tower, the chariot, something's coming in quick that's going to change or transform the situation. And attachment, if you are in an unhappy, committed relationship, um, are you really holding on, trying to convince yourself that you're holding on because of love? 
Uh, and in reality, it's just the attachment or the feeling of having to start all over again. So take the messages for what they are. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.